When I spoke in the intro about discovering hidden gems, I had this place in mind in particular, Bayou Joe's on Massalina Bayou. This little tranquil pocket of water is lined in private homes and big gentle oak trees and boat docks. The restaurant itself is kind of like a boat. It sticks out over the water. You can see water in between the floorboards and it's really like dipping into another world. That's exactly what I heard when I sat down with one of the owners. So Kevin, it seems to me like it's easier to get here by boat than by car. Talk about how boats come to Bayou Joe's. It is, it's, it's really easy by <laughs> boat. People will uh, head for the Panama City Marina and then come underneath the drawbridge. People will know uh, if you can find the drawbridge, you can pretty much find Bayou Joe's. Yeah, which is a really great historic bridge as well. Absolutely. There's basically three places that you can pull up to, to the restaurant. We try to make sure that everybody has room. Great. Yeah. Oh, and this is a mom and pop restaurant. You're the pop? Absolutely. I'm pop. Yeah. yeah. And then my wife, Jennifer, uh, we're, we're the mom and pop of this place. Three so. meals a day. Three meals a day, breakfast, yeah, lunch, boat. and dinner, uh, 363 days a year. So. Well, we're going to look at that food next. And um, I'm just really enjoying the peacefulness here. I feel relaxed sitting and talking with you. Great. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Bayou Joe's is really, really local. Many people eat here about every day. Even though she's an owner, Jennifer waits tables to connect with the guests, to stay in touch with their lives, and to listen to stories about their memories of Bayou Joe's. This says a lot. You should also know the cooking here is home style, from scratch and made to order three meals a day. How great to begin your day of boating or to reward yourself for an early morning fishing with a big, fat, square pancake and a Bloody Mary. Delicious any time of day, the fried green beans to dip in outstanding homemade ranch dressing and wash down with a cold beer is amazing. Of course, they're going to bring you local seafood fresh off the fishing boats like this ahi tuna rubbed in their own 14 spice blend and barely seared, served over their sweet hot collard greens with a Bayou Sunset cocktail on the side. This dessert called Drunk and Ugly combines stewed peaches, splash of rum, graham cracker crust, and a cheesecake topping with ice cream. It's kind of like three desserts in one, and it's seriously delicious. If you pull up by boat, you don't even have to step off onto dry land. Just hop from one deck to the next, and you're in. Feast your eyes on the tranquil landscape, birds, the occasional dolphins, and of course, lots of watercraft. Kevin and Jennifer Shea quit their corporate jobs in hospitality to throw their heart and souls into this little special place. That kind of attention really, really shows here. But what makes this place special is as much what they don't do as what they do. That's why it's on this tour. Come here by boat, check it out. You're going to love it. We still have more to see on the tour, so I'll see you at my next pick coming up.